Hi everyone! So today I'm going to show you guys our moving adventure as well as show you guys a few DIY tips and we moved back in September last year and so I thought it would be fun to show you guys the progress of uh, our moving and if you guys have seen our tour of our tiny ho home video then you know the finished result of our moving and I will link that video here on the screen as well as, as, well as in the description box below so you can watch that if you like So my first tip is to declutter. So about one month before we moved, I decided to begin decluttering. So as you can see here, I'm just looking through my newspapers and magazines because I love to collect stuff. And I got a lot of magazines as you can see there on the left. And I actually ended up giving all of those away or just throwing or just throwing them out because I never really read through my magazines anymore so it's just cluttering my space and also uh, for the books I also gave all of them away except for Twilight because I'm doing a DIY on that so look out for that video but all of the other books I gave them away which were quite hard for me because I get attached to my books quite a lot <laughs> one of the hardest things I had to do for my books was to give away my PLL books which I adore so that was a bit hard for me but I just had to stay strong and do it. <laughs> so on top of all of my books, I wrote free books uh, in Danish and just what books were in the plastic. Uh, just so people would know that these are free books that they could take and I just put these uh, books into plastic bags just to make sure they wouldn't get wet from the rain if it would rain outside because we just put them beside the recycled trash can so just anyone could take our, our books for free so I made different piles just to keep it all organized so trash pile give pile and keep pile so this is a very good idea just to keep it all organized because it can get pretty messy when you're moving so for my movie slash decor cabinet i gave all of my movies away which were extremely hard for me because i love watching movies so that was really hard for me but I had to do it. I didn't keep any of the movies. But the decors, uh, I kept them all because I love my decors too much to give them away. Um, yeah, and But for the Nintendo 3DS games, I didn't give, give those away because I'm always playing those games. So yeah, here I'm just putting my posters into the trash pile. And here is all of my movies that I had to give away. And you can always just watch movies on YouTube and stuff. There is some movies on YouTube that you can watch or Netflix and stuff. So you don't need to keep all of these. And for music, there is always Spotify. So if you're having a hard time giving your movies away and stuff, just know there's always internet and you can always go on there and watch. So yeah, I got a lot of trash in my cabinets. <laughs> So 
so you can always find free boxes at the grocery store you can just ask them if you could get some of their boxes and usually they will say yes and also remember to tape the inside of your box because they could rip open and a DIY tip I have for you guys is to cut a V shape on the sides of the boxes so it's easier to lift them up. And to keep our stuff clean we decided to put two plastic bags into the boxes just to make sure everything was clean and if the boxes would rip open nothing would fall uh, out. And another tip was, would be to put all of your fragile stuff in between the clothes just to make sure that they are because just to make sure they are safe <laughs> and i also put some tape on top to make it extra secure and i put tons of tape on the top and the bottom of the box to make sure nothing would fall out because the these boxes they were pretty heavy <laughs> let me show you guys a overview of my old new of my old room our old room we shared it with pinky I also want to mention that my mom and I moved everything on our own. We didn't hire any professional movers to move our stuff. We did this all of our, on our own. We got some help from family members uh, to move the big bed, but that's all. We did almost everything on our own, so it's possible to just do it on our, your own and you will save a lot of money if you do that. Uh, especially if your new home is close by your old home so yeah and of course I already always remember to cuddle with Pingy in between and take breaks while I was decluttering And remember guys to put all of your porcelain and fragile mugs and cups and stuff in newspapers. So wrap them in newspaper. So we actually put all of our kitchen stuff like plates and mugs and stuff into this uh, plastic IKEA box since uh, it would be a lot more secure and safe so the box wouldn't rip open and our plates wouldn't fly out and stuff. So when it was finally time to move, uh, I put Pinky into his little carrier with some hay and then it was time to move. So now was this is the first day when we got to our new apartment and it's 39 square meters so it's a tiny home and it's pretty cozy. 
so one of the first thing we did was vacuum the floor just to make sure everything was clean and just to make sure everything was clean and there was no dirt on the floor and stuff because we usually because we never wear shoes inside we just wear um, we, we're just using our socks and stuff uh, so this is a gift we did for our apartment a microwave but this ended up exploding so not a good microwave and the second thing we did was to mop the floor to make everything clean because it's very important to clean your home before you move all of your stuff in there because you're not sure how you know clean those people who lived there last time or you know <laughs> and to clean all of our cabinets and surfaces and stuff we just used some vinegar into a bottle with water and sprayed that on some cloth and then just wiped our cabinets and stuff and remember guys to wipe your new cabinets because you, again you're not sure how clean those last people were <laughs> so we also actually cleaned the roof because there was some spider webs but not a lot so here is Pinky. He was extremely nervous on the first day, which is very acceptable, of course. He didn't know where he was and the room was echoing a lot, so uh, it was pretty noisy for him, but he did really good. I'm so proud of him. And this was his temporarily set up just for a few days, just for one or two days. This is this was his setup and he was really scared and he just wanted to cuddle with me and he just sat on my lap for about 30 minutes here because he was so scared and it was really cute so make sure guys to give your bunny or animals your pets and furry friends some time when you move just give them some time and they will get used to it I promise So on the first day and second day, I think, um, we just slept on our madras on the floor. So yeah, it was pretty cozy and it was kind of like we were, you know, camping and stuff. So it was fun. So this is the second day and we got the rest of pinky stuff and boxes. So it took a few days for us to to move all of our stuff since it was just the two of us moving our stuff so it was pretty hard and heavy but it was okay we did it we did really good and I'm so proud of us we're just two women moving all of our stuff and so yeah go women so this is the cabinet that we bought from IKEA it's a big pink cabinet which was which was really easy to complete so a good idea to save space is to hang your jackets and stuff on hooks on the wall So here's what happened after I unwrapped all of the plates and stuff. So lots of trash and newspaper on the floor. So this is the shoe cabinet that we got. And we also put other stuff on there like our toolbox and stuff. And also remember guys, if you're going to wrap your plates and stuff in newspaper, make sure to wash them in before you use them because there could be, you know, left uh, leftover ink and stuff and that's not good to 
eat. <laughs> So for drilling holes in your on your new wall, I want to give you guys a quick DIY tip. So to make everything neat and clean and uh, to just to make sure no no dirt comes on the floor after drilling, you could put post it post it and fold them underneath where you're going to drill and so all of the dust will be on the post-it instead of the floor so it will catch all of the dust so you don't make any mess and then after you've done drilling you just remove um, the post-its and all of the dust is collected there So yeah, that's it guys. If you want to see the finished result of our new home, you can check out our tour of our tiny home video and you can see the finished result of our new tiny home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.